This will be sick, dudes. I'm here at DL, Disneyland, and uh, got a change of change of plans today. Um, so I decided I'm gonna go around and show you every single restaurant they have. Pretty much eaten at all of these, and uh, you know I'll tell you what's good and bad. Some of it's kind of standard, but whatever. All right, dude. I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just start on Main Street, uh, right hand side, always the right person through the gate, and uh, just keep going. There's the, uh, the CK holiday ripping around up there. All right then. So first thing you come to is the market house which is essentially just a Starbucks. Um, they have some other things in there, some collectibles and stuff like that. Uh, they usually get their Gouda and bacon, a little sandwich if they have it in the morning. It's legit, but it's Starbucks, so whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna leave out like the little carts and the churro carts and the popcorn carts because we all know what that is. But uh, yeah, first, first stop on the right there, Market House. All right, that right there, that's the Little Red Wagon corn dog cart. It's like the most iconic place. Uh, I think their corn dogs are actually better than uh, Corn Dog Castle over at DCA anyway. So if you're in the mood, go try one of those out. It's kind of a Disneyland staple. So as you make a right into Tomorrowland from Main Street, you'll get uh, the Plaza Inn, which is arguably has the best fried chicken anywhere. I've had it. It's hell of good. I would five out of five that place. Highly recommend Plaza Inn fried chicken. All right, then we're headed into Tomorrowland. Instead, we're just gonna kind of keep going right, kind of work our way around the parks. Uh, there's only two places in Tomorrowland, Galactic Grill and Pizza Planet or whatever they call that now. I'll find out in a minute. So there it is. It's the Alien Pizza Planet. It used to be the Pizza Port, but I'm glad they changed it. Because their pizza back then wasn't very good. It's still not very good, but it's better. Their pasta is legit. They usually have some fun treats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's better places to eat. But if you're in the, in the mood, some pizza and pasta. Alien Pizza Planet, bro. Sick. Here's the Galactic Grill. This place is pretty legit if you do mobile order so you don't have to wait in line. Uh, I never really noticed before, but the building doesn't even have a, uh, have a has a sign. It doesn't tell you what it is, but everybody knows because the smell of the sweet meat just draws you in. Galactic Grill. Home of dark white chocolate, bro. Alright, well, we just passed the Nemo submarine voyage right now Matterhorn's down for refurbishments got this big old wall up there kind of here Autopia over there to the side you know little cars racing around and stuff it's a trip dude no water no screaming no oh my back's gonna hurt in five minutes Matterhorn this little hut over here is called Edelweiss snacks they got uh, turkey legs they got chimichangas they got corn on the cob, just that kind of stuff. It's a little quick serve, they got mobile order, right at the uh, the base or the entrance to uh, the right side of the Matterhorn if, as you're looking at it. So we're gonna head over into Fantasyland next and uh, see what kind of food they got. Well, actually, we're gonna take a trip over to Small World real quick. We're gonna check that place out. I forgot the name of it, but it used to be up on the, the left by the Disneyland Theater. I'm gonna go see if that place is open. I had it before, but it's been a long time. I don't even remember what's there. We'll go check it. All right, well, it's a little hard to see, but this is the Troubadour Tavern at the entrance to the Fantasyland Theater. Uh, their menu, I guess they're back open. There's people eating, so probably open, right? Uh, they have samosas, loaded baked potatoes, like chicken curry potatoes. Looks like that kind of stuff. It'll be interesting to try. Maybe I'll come back. All right, dudes. Well, nothing like a uh, middle-aged gentleman such as myself heading into Fantasyland by himself. That's what dreams are made of. We're gonna go check out Red Rose. Hella good. Let's see what they have. All right, dudes. All right, dudes, this one's a little loud, but this is Red Rose Tavern, and this place is pretty good. They have some decent food. They've really stepped up their game. Uh, they've got hamburgers, cheeseburgers, salads, flatbreads. Uh, they used to have a poutine that was hella good. Um, they have a lot of sweets, a lot of seasonal sweets. Really good. This place is legit. I give it a five out of five. Red Rose Tavern. Okay, we're out of Fantasyland. We're heading into Batuu. Star Wars land, as a lot of people call it, or uh, Galaxy's Edge. 
it technically is about to, but whatever. Just call it Star Wars. Make it easy. This place is probably my favorite place in the park, although it can get crowded. Rice breaks down a lot. Their food's meh. Ronto Rosa is good. We had that yesterday. Anyway, just take a look at this crap. Just cruising. Entering Batu. Sick. All right, dudes. Well, over here to the left, as you go into the first entrance on your right, if you're looking at the map, is uh, the blue milk cart. They have green milk too. They both suck. But hey, some people like it. There you go. All right, so another name for this place, Star Wars Land, is Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Outpost. It's where V Moriarty hangs out, does her little spy tricks. Still haven't figured out which one's the Black Spire. Maybe that one? It's pretty big. I don't know. There's a couple more. I'll show you. So this right here is the infamous Olga's Cantina. Go in there, get yourself some drinks, go get your swerve on, dance up to that DJ robot guy, I forgot his name, whatever. It's cool. It's a really neat place. If you've never been in there, go check it out. It's kind of like the start, or the, uh, the cantina from A New Hope. That's what it's based off of. Well, check it out. One of the only places that you can get booze in Disney. Smuggler's Run. It's a Millennium Falcon, as most of you already know. That ride's hella fun. You should check it out. When you go up the stairs on the right hand side, you come across this plane. It's called Docking Bay 7. Probably should get a better shot. They have some pretty good stuff in there. We've tried it. Food's probably like a 3 out of 5. But they have cold, that coffee stuff that we tried the other day. It's good. So, at least it's an extra place to go and get out of the heat if you need to. Alright, so I am outside of. Uh... Doc Ondor's oddities and treasures or whatever. You go in there and you buy lightsabers and Star Wars stuff. It's badass. Behind me, I don't know if you can see it, I have a feeling that's probably the Black Spire. It looks like it. It's in the middle of the land, so, you know, it's probably it. Let me know. Alright, dudes. So here's Ronto Roasters. There's a dude right there roasting up some Rontos, getting ready for everybody to eat. They have like these sausage Ronto things, pretty good. They have the vegetarian versions, which Disneyland actually has, almost every restaurant has a vegetarian option or a version of. Um, you can see in there, their mobile service is good. They have breakfast stuff. We got that a couple days ago. This place is rad, love it. I would probably do a, a five out of five on this, if that's what you're into. Get it, guy. All right, so as you make your way into like the marketplace, there's this place called, I don't know what it's called, Oops, uh, they have popcorn. That's usually what they have, different kinds throughout the year. Right now they have some sort of a, a chicken drumstick as their seasonal offering. Never had that. Popcorn's decent, but it's popcorn. Whatever, not really a restaurant, but if you have those hydro flasks or whatever, you can go over here, it's like a water filling station. It's the very, very end, kind of as you're headed towards Rise, once you get out of the marketplace. They have a couple of those through the parks. I think I'll show you where they're at. Now, that's a spire over there. There's one over there, there's another one over there. Heck of spires everywhere. Probably why it got its name. There's just that one. I'm thinking it's that one obsidian looking one over by Doc Ondors, though. Alright, dudes. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish out Batu, Black Spire Outpost, Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, whatever. I remember coming here. We were pretty lucky to get reservations for one of the uh, debuts back when they did it, I think, what was it, early 2020? Rise of the Resistance wasn't even open yet. Speaking of, it's over there. That's the entrance. If you haven't had a chance to go on that ride, you need to go on that ride. That ride is sick. It is huge, it's amazing, and I wish they would keep it from breaking down so much. I think out of the 10 times we've ridden it, attempted to ride it, we've gone on four successful missions. Well, this place is cool. They got little speeders over there, like that dude uh, Anakin used to drive around in, Obi-Wan, sick dude. And then uh, they got one of them TIE Fighters, Resistance TIE Fighters, pretty cool. All right, well, headed out. We're gonna go over to Critter Country next. I'm on my way. All right, so over here, after you exit the two, headed into Critter Country, right in the corner, it's Hungry Bear Restaurant. The place is pretty good. Eh, it's not that good. But they usually have something decent, something you can get chili, chili dogs, chili hamburgers, all that kind of crap. Anyway, they got heck of seating, pretty well shaded. 
upstairs, downstairs. Good place to come chill out. It's not too crowded. All right, so we're in the very, very back. This place is called Pooh's Corner. They usually got a heck of treats and sweets and stuff in here. Just gonna pop in real quick. Trying not to make a nuisance of myself, but hey, everybody else is, so why not? Heck of stuff. We got the dudes over there making candies and sweets for the kids. We got all sorts of good stuff in here. This place is cool if you want some sweets and snacks. Now, I'll figure out the road. Quick attraction in Splash Mountain. It's only gonna be there a little bit longer. Closing it down, making it into uh, Tiana's ride. Some sort of Princess and the Frog thing. Should be cool. But Splash was always pretty good too. All right, dudes, I get it. You're out late. All right, this one's pretty good. This is Harbor Galley. You can get like lobster sandwich, lobster rolls, and that kind of stuff. It's also, they've got clam chowder and like soup in a bread bowl and that kind of crap pretty good especially in a cold night it's out here it's actually like a decent you know weather uh, which is good today but Harbor Galley badass little quick sir I'm gonna take you back it's like kind of a little hidden gym back here it's not so hidden anymore but back by the uh, Fowler's Inn you can cruise around they have this little like walkway and they have some tables and chairs back here so you can grab your food and if it's empty come sit and relax in the shade have a good time eat your food and uh, one of the coolest things is coming up here, right around the corner. You go up, got these little stairs here. Hopefully I don't trip and fall and kill myself and break my neck, but it's cool. Go over here. When they come off of the uh, big drop at Splash, all the dudes, see if I can maybe sneak in. Yeah. yeah. So that's when everybody gets soaked. And uh, over there, we got Tom Sawyer's Island. Place is pretty cool, just go kick around a little bit. Gotta take those little, uh, I don't know, ferries. Go over there, check it out, it's cool. Lots of stuff to do. Anyway, going around this little cor uh, corner, this little bend, this little secret hideaway. What do they call it, Fowler's Cellar? I don't know, I think that's what that says down there. There's some more dudes coming. Hell wet, excited. Just came down a 400 foot cliff. Have a good time. So it is that time of year. Haunted Mansion gets the makeover for Nightmare Before Christmas. It's really rad. Haunted ha Mansion Holiday is what they call it. It's like one of my favorite rides. Especially when they get, well, either one. I like them both. It's pretty neat to see the difference from time to time. So right here is the French Market. It's in the corner over behind uh, Haunted Mansion and in between the railroads, kind of the backside, where you get into uh, the little markets back there in uh, New Orleans Square. Uh, if you can see, it's kind of hard, but that's the Mint Jewel Bar. They have Mint Juleps, and they have bonnets and all sorts of good stuff. That's the French market. It's quick serve. It's pretty good. Uh, we go there from time to time, depending on what they have. But it's cool. Probably like a three out of five. Sandwiches, salads, that kind of stuff. All right, so what we have here next to the French market is Cafe Orleans. They have some really good food. It's a killer atmosphere. At night, if you get to sit out on the patio and you get a good seat, you can see the rivers of America. Sometimes you can catch like a phantasmic show. Fireworks are decent to see from here. The place is legit, has good food. Uh, they have like gumbo, jambalaya, they have the best palm frites ever. And uh, it's legit, it's a good place, you should go here. I'd do a uh, five out of five on that. It's one of our staples we usually go to. Oh, look, well, we're over here, Royal Street Veranda. It's kind of a restaurant row over here. This place is pretty good, quick serve. They have hush puppies a lot of the times. They have bread bowls, like macaroni and cheese and soup, whatever in there pretty good a little quick serve pick me up if you need it not a lot of space to sit but you know it's cool all right dudes now we're heading in to the second best gym of the freaking uh park here we got the blue bayou restaurant if you've never been inside inside's killer you can see pirates of the caribbean it's got the little uh, scene in there it's dark usually have some pretty upscale food but uh it's good pretty pricey but they usually have some pretty good stuff, like filet mignon, chicken, that kind of stuff. Blue buyer. You can go there. It's cool. Hard to get a reservation, though. Sometimes walk-ups work. Now, next door, we've got Eudora's Chic Boutique and Tiana's Gourmet Secrets. It's a new uh, spot coming up. Heard they're going to have some, some things you can buy and some stuff to make your own food at home. All right, now we've found the gym of the uh, dining experiences in Disneyland, Club 33. That's the entrance, hidden away. Club 33 is all up there. Never been there. It's the only place in Disneyland I haven't eaten. It'll happen someday. So it's fancy. I've heard it's good. It's expensive. It's exclusive. It costs like $27 billion to get in.
but you know, if you got the cash, do it. All right, so here is Riverbell Terrace, right on the opposite side of New Orleans Square. I think it's technically part of New Orleans Square. Oh, hey, what's up, Mark Twain? And the Rivers of America. Uh, Riverbell Terrace, they do have breakfast. I've heard it's pretty good. Haven't been there yet since they've had it. Uh, they have mostly barbecue style food right now. They do have some pretty good food. We've been here a couple times. They're constantly changing their menu to see what's up. I wonder if this might be the place where Tiana's, uh, Tiana's whatever, her restaurant's gonna be. A couple different locations it could be, but I'm wondering, yeah, that could work. All right, so we're at the edge of New Orleans Square. I think we're technically out of it now. But over here is what they call the Stage Door Cafe. Yeah, Stage Door Cafe. They got funnel cakes and corn dogs and all sorts of fried stuff in there. Typically don't tend to eat that stuff, but hey, some people love it. Yay. And then if you go over here, that's the famous Golden Horseshoe. Go in there, they used to have freaking bears playing, cowboy shows. They got an upstairs and a downstairs. Upstairs is pretty cool if you want to go chill out and just get out of the sun if you need to. Uh, if it's super hot out, get yourself some ice cream. They have other food too, but we're not going to talk about that. Golden Horseshoe, bro. So this spot here, this is at the entrance where you get onto the uh, Columbia and the Mark Twain. It's kind of a cart, but it's permanent. They got turkey legs, gross. Chimichangas, they got breakfast changas too. They're hella good. They got corn on the cob, that kind of stuff. They got a little quick serve, like in the ice, like pickles and mangoes, and all sorts of little snacks and treats. Pretty cool. You go here sometimes. That breakfast changa dude, heck of good. Okay, so we're in Frontier Land now, next to the shooting gallery, and there is Rancho de Zocalo. This place has legit Mexican food. They usually switch it up a bunch, but they have some really good stuff. Got a nice outside seating area. I think they've got a little bit inside. Eh, no, I don't think they have inside anymore, but that doesn't matter. Place is good. If you want some Mexican food? This is the jam. All right, and now we have one of the, probably one of the most famous spots to get a quick little snack here. It's Bengal Barbecue. It's across the street from uh, Indiana Jones and kind of the entrance to Jungle Cruise over there. They have skewers like chicken, beef, they have bacon wrapped asparagus. It's usually pretty good. If you're on a budget, you want some food, this place is pretty good. Like probably like six, seven, eight bucks for a skewer, maybe two of them. I don't know. It's delicious. You should check it out. So South Seas Traders is sort of new. It used to be, I think, part of a shop. Um, that one over there, the bazaar. But now they have like dining, seating area for people for Bengal barbecue. It used to have all the stuff that Tropical Imports does. But now that's like stroller park. So that's probably better. Get those strollers out of here. It's kind of a bottleneck anyway. So they have like the pickles and all the stuff like mangoes and little things you'd get in the ice. I don't think I've ever been in there. Not to sit and eat at least. All right, one more place in front, or no, Adventureland. We're in Adventureland, bro. I might have most misspoke earlier, whatever. This is Tropical Hideaway. It used to be like the Aladdin's place where you used to just come and chill, but they put a restaurant in there. They've got everything from Dole Whips, Dole Whip floats. They have an awesome chamoy and mango and pineapple Dole Whip. That's just killer, so good. They got bao, they got pot stickers, or not pot stickers, uh, spring rolls. Those are good too. we reviewed those in the past. Tropical Hideaway. It gets pretty busy, but it's pretty good. And there's for good reason. All right, so as we head out or in, whichever way, I'm going out of Adventureland. This is where you get your Dole Whips, dude, at the uh, Tiki Juice Bar. They serve Dole Whips. People line up for days just to get some of that. That's like the Disneyland staple. Churros, Dole Whip, turkey legs. We're not going to talk about those anymore. Anyway, this place is cool. You can get your Dole Whip on, or you can head on over to that tropical hideaway that I was just at. And, uh, and, and they serve the same stuff, just a little bit more. But this is where the classics, this is where it all started, right here. At the tropical, no, at the enchanted tiki room, bro. All right, well, I made it out of that Adventureland. It's a bottleneck in there. It's pretty busy. So one of my favorite places, one of our go-tos, we pretty much eat here at least once a trip. It's Jolly Holiday, bro. This place is cool. Do mobile order and uh, you can go sit down, find an outside shady spot. It's pretty good. They got, uh, you know, the regular fountain drinks, that kind of stuff. They usually have some sort of seasonal sweets, like the raspberry macaron. That was always here, if you could get it when before they sold out. They got all sorts of little baked goods, treats, cookies, that kind of stuff. They also have really good sandwiches. They tried different things. We had a fried bologna sandwich from there once. It was good, yeah. Soup, salad, grilled cheese, little turkey sandwiches. Their house-made chips are legit. Jolly Holiday, five of five. All right, so over here, there is a place called Maurice's Treats. It's a cart, but it's a permanent cart. They're always here. They've got uh, really cool uh, treats, like breaded stuff. 
uh, like bagels, twisted bagels with cinnamon and chocolate. They've got uh, the cheese ones sometimes. Looks like they got some donuts. Kind of like a little mobile bakery, sort of. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty good. Apple Freeze, that's another thing they got here. Uh, this is a good place. Check it out. It's a little good for little snacks. All right, dudes. Well, before I head down Main Street, go back on the right-hand side as you're leaving. Yeah, got an obligatory castle picture. Sick. All right, I'm right here next to Jolly Holiday. As you exit the hub and you head down Main Street, there it is right there, you got Coca-Cola Refreshment Corner. Delicious and refreshing. Sick. It's got hot dogs, usually some weird hot dogs. I don't really eat those. But uh, hey, if you're into that thing, go check it out. Go get yourself an ice cold Coke. Enjoy the day. So over here, we've got the Candy Palace. Like the name suggests, it's got candy inside. It's a palace of candy. If you're in for something like that, go check so, it out. Those dapper cans are at it again. They're making some noise over there. So hopefully you can hear this. That's Gibson Girl ice cream. They have good ice cream here. It's usually a good way to end the night. Just go grab yourself a cone, a bowl of ice cream, what up? It's good. This is on Main Street. All right, so we think, eh, I think this might be the last one. We got the uh, infamous Carnation Cafe. We ate there yesterday. I had their chicken sandwich. It was kind of new. It was okay. Uh, G got their salad. That was good. They usually have some decent food. It's kind of gone downhill a little bit, but they're on their way back. Carnation Cafe. If you can get a reservation, check them out. Now, well, we're just going to video the trip out of the parks. Down Main Street, headed to the exit. It is Halloween time here. There's a gigantic Mickey pumpkin over there, as you can see. This place is cool. It's a little packed. But, uh, you know, if you're into Disney, kind of expect that kind of stuff typical uh typical crowds for saturday so i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's fun to make kind of interesting that uh you know i've been to all these places and tried most of their stuff but hey look city hall sick dude that guy didn't give a shit he almost ran me over but it's cool i'm just walking around filming all right dudes disney fireland department that's it a train station not late <laughs>